Dude, dude, that's stupid. That's nuts. That is dumb, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, that is insane, bro. That is just ridiculous. Holy cow. Dude. What's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Before we hop into today's video, I wanna run a little giveaway for you guys. We were supposed to run one in the last video, like literally at the beginning of the video, I was like, you know what? We got a giveaway in here. And then me and Cody, we put out the video and we realized, oh my God, we didn't put the giveaway in. So I'm so sorry about that, but we have the giveaway right here. If you guys wanna see what we're giving away, a little square bill, lipless crankbait, another square bill, smaller swim baits, bigger swim baits, and some tour grade striking fish and life. If you guys wanna enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button on today's video. And if you could also drop some comments down below on some video ideas that you guys have. You know, we've been fishing a lot lately, but we wanna film some other videos, especially like we're, what we're about to film today, which is like a tackle video. So if you could, drop some comments down below. What are you talking about? Huh? I don't know if you saw this last video that's gonna come out here soon, but Noah put the whooping on me on the lake. I have to take it like a man. He beat me. I was just taking it easy on him. So now we're about to do a tackle episode because Noah has all this tackle that awesome Strike King sent him and it's in boxes everywhere. And he came home and I got on him and said, boy, you better organize your stuff, better clean your room. So he's about to clean his room or he's gonna get put in timeout and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. We got Alan Bob back in the videos too. Good Alan Bob. What you been up to? Dude, I've been out for almost a year uh, back home in South America. It's been good to be back. Uh, having an awesome time here in Atlanta with my boy Noah. Thank you though. I'm ready to do some fishing down here. We're gonna be doing some fun fishing, but Alan Bob hasn't been on the channel. Like, bro, it's been it's a like long that. time. Like, I know a lot of you guys remember Alan Bob, but a lot of you guys probably are like, who is Alan Bob? Yeah. Like, it, it's crazy it's been that long, but I think the last time you left the channel, we were at like 150,000 yeah, subscribers, and, and now it's at like 550,000. So it's just crazy. I'm thank you guys so much, by the way. We're on the road to a million this year, so we gotta make it happen. I know you guys saw in like a recent video over the last few months, we got all this tackle from Striking. Big shout out to them as well. Thank you so much for sending this out to me. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. So we have to organize this because right now I have been living out of a Parker's grocery bag, literally throwing a couple of baits in there. I got to organize my stuff. I got to make it happen because this is like one part of my life that I got to get taken care of and I got to get organized. So that's what we're doing today. Got a lot of baits, you know, we got some, um, this is a new box that actually just came in right here. We got worms, crankbaits, um, fishing line, crawls, swim baits, jigs and chatter baits, and some top water. So we got a lot of organization to do. My main goal is to organize the boat. So we're gonna get like all these boxes over here, which I'll show you and deck out the whole boat. And then like later on, However much tackle I have, we're gonna get the rest and like throw it in the back of my truck. I don't know if you guys know, but my truck has those big drawers that come out and you can actually put a bunch of tackle back there. So we're gonna be like decking out my truck. But we got like all these boxes from Bass Pro yesterday. I don't think we have enough, but we literally bought all the boxes that they had. So that's what we're gonna have to work with. Don't do <laughs> 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 Like those boxes are great for like lures, you know, heart baits, everything. And then I got these boxes which I'm like more excited about than anything. Like how much room these boxes have. So if we didn't want to like take soft plastics out of their bags, which I'm not a big fan of doing, we could just like kind of line them up like. And we could like put like all the crawls in here. You know, we don't have to worry about anything. I think that's the best way to organize that. How's it go? All right, so let's get all this stuff in the boxes. Enjoy the time lapse. All 
All right, let's give you guys a little update of where we're at. So I haven't put anything in the boxes yet, but we got everything organized. So like right here, we got some spinner baits. Right here, we got jigs. Right here, we got like 8XDs, 10XDs, um, Thunder Crickets in there, smaller crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, bigger lipless crankbaits. Still organizing that, still organizing that. Over here, you got the cannons, pythons. <laughs> you got, what's that, crawls? This is crawls and chunks. So that's like menaces. Worms. Worms. Sankos. Sankos. And Ned Rigs. Ned Rigs. Fishing line. Monster, monster top waters. Look at it compared to my foot. Those things are massive. Got some smaller top waters. Jerk baits. Poppers. Frogs. Buzz baits. And that's about all. That's where we're at right now. So now, what we're going to end up doing is taking all these out of the packages and organizing them in the boxes. Which is going to be a hard part. So let me show you guys exactly what we've done so far. We're we're getting some good progress. So let's come over here to Big Steve. Tell what you're doing, Big Steve. Well, so far I have organized the spinner baits. These are the burner spinner baits. You can tell they're a little heavier and they got a thin blade on Narrow. them. These are your normal two grade, the new ones spinner baits. And now I'm organizing your buzz baits. And we got different weights. I'm putting the same colors but different weights in here. Oh, and good. I'm just going to try to stuff as many in this box and still keep it organized as I possibly can. Looking good. We got jigs we still got to do. Worms and all the crawls. I still got to figure out what I'm really doing with this. Because I have one one of these big boxes. I wish I had another one. I should have bought another one. Because all these swim baits. Hey, that's probably like the most of anything that we got is swim baits. So I might have to end up sacrificing this box for the swim baits. When in reality, I want to put the crawls there. Still have frogs right here. And I organize like a lot of top waters and jerk baits. So look at this box right here. Look at that. There's some massive top waters, guys. Huge top waters. I mean, compared to my foot, it's ridiculous. So we got that box. We got a like sad looking little popper box. We're gonna have to get some more to fill it out, but those are the poppers. Got some sexy dogs right here, some regular walking baits. Got bone color, some regular sexy shad with chrome. Got like this ghost minnow color. Um, some translucent, that's like a nude color. Um, it's a little natural, chrome, bone. Cool little box. This one has to be like my favorite so far, is like the first one I did. It's like the jerk baits. So we got some of the natural shad colors up here i mean they're all natural shad colors but got like a bonish white translucent with some purple back that's a neat color some smaller ones this is probably like one of my favorite colors look at that color it's got like purple on top chartreuse on the bottom and like a translucent side and they got some like blue with a little bit of chrome in it and some more like sexy shad colors so it's come together pretty good it's just so much tackle. And then Alan Bob, show them the trap house. Alan Bob's got the trap house over here. Is all just about uh, all done? Yeah, just about all done. Okay, show you the trap house. Look at that. Got Dude, that's a that's a nice box. That's a good looking box. You get a good feeling when you open this box. That's probably one of my favorite colors too. I feel like that purple and, and white. Looks tight. Yeah. I like it. So now we just gotta figure out the soft plastics because you know, uh, one thing that every time like I organize my tackle in boxes, I don't like putting the soft plastics out of their packs. <laughs> it's just not something that I like to do. I like to keep them in their bags and I like putting them in like boxes like this. So you can just pretty much pull out the pack. I just feel like that's a lot more convenient. And if I need to take like baits out of the boat to go pond fishing or bank fishing or kayak fishing with, they're like easily accessible and I'm not going to be able to like have to take all these worms individually out. It just doesn't make really any sense. Look how many of these things we got. It's crazy. I mean, some of these are flukes, but for the majority, they're swim baits and blade minnows. 
I don't know. I, I have no idea where to tackle this one at. I don't have a dang clue. And then we got to get all the crankbaits organized, square bills, deep divers, 10XDs, 8XDs. That's going to be a job as well. But top water is just about done. Got to put the frogs in the box, but we're looking good. We have to roll out the Walmart for just a couple minutes and got a few more boxes. We got three of these waterproof boxes right here. Just some extra stuff. And then we got these two big like Tupperware containers. And uh, these are gonna be for like the swim baits. The swim baits just aren't gonna fit in that other box. So these I think it'd be a lot better. If we keep one of these in the boat, if we can figure out where to put it, and then the other one will like go in the RV. So it's kind of the update. And uh, what else have you done, Vic Steve, while we're going? You got a square bill box done with your 1.5s, your 2.5s, and then just a normal square bill. And I've got your 3XD and 5XD box almost finished up. Dad's been home doing the work while the boys are running around playing. You know what's up. Big boys know how to work. We grind. Got horsepower. I've been kicking butt. Awesome. Thank you. Finishing up, we're really layering it down now. I got some crankbaits that I just organized. We got some 1.5 flat sided. Um, we got some of the series fours, series threes, a couple other smaller crankbaits that we're organizing. He's messing around with Ned baits. We weren't gonna take the soft plastics and put them in a container because one, they melt if it gets really hot, and two, that's, I'm just not a big fan of doing that. But the Ned baits, I think that's, that's a good choice. I think that's gonna be fine. But as you can tell, I'm lining up these crankbaits. Got like five of the same color. We're loading all like dirty water colors at the top, natural colors would be at the bottom. Just get it all organized, right? So we're almost done, and uh, right after this, I have something to show you guys. As I said earlier, we have a big special surprise in this video. You probably saw it at the beginning of the video. You know, we kind of teased it there. But um, we ended up getting the RV wrapped. Big shout out to ZD Cows. They did an awesome job. Um, big thanks to them. Uh, it's just looking crazy guys. I, I would have never imagined that we would have got this done But once I bought the RV I had a vision for it and I was like, let's just go for it You know, we're gonna travel around do a bunch of big trips have a bunch of fan meetups bring the RV out And uh, it's just it's just a blessing very thankful for it. By the way, I got my grandma. Hey, Nana Hi. Want to say hey to the the fam kicking their bass fam. How you doing? <laughs> That's my grandma. I was showing her, this is her first time seeing it today too. So uh, let's show you guys the RV. This is the Bass Bus. Finally got it complete and it is looking gnarly. I'm not gonna lie, they did a great job. Big shout out to ZD Cows. It's looking freaking awesome. We're gonna do a bunch of different graphics and stuff on the wrap, but right now it's just basic with kicking their bass. But um, look how big the muscle fish is back here. I mean, it's freaking huge. I can't even, reach my arms around him he's so big on the back of this thing it's just insane guys insane it's a straight billboard if you come around here to the back got it pretty clean and simplistic back here just kicking their bass.com by the way if you guys want to check out some merch you want to support your boy kicking their bass.com that's the website got our handles on there youtube instagram facebook come around the side same on this side muscle fish kicking their bass and if you guys see, you know, it's all blacked out right here. Then it fades into the cryptic camo that we have on the truck in the boat right here, which fades into this white cryptic, which just looks so tight. Um, I love how the white looks on this thing. It looks really good. And if you guys look, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but these big stripes right here, this is actually a big American flag. So you got stars that are actually wrapped around the front over here. If you guys look. There's a star to the American flag. There's the stripes. You come on this side. This is mainly where the stars are. It's right over here. You can see like all the stars on there. But it's tight. They did a great job. And it's just a blessing to be able to do this, guys. I'm very thankful that I'm able to do this. And I wouldn't be able to purchase this RV and, and, and do this whole thing if it wasn't for you guys supporting the channel over the years. And 
it's just a blessing. You know, we're going to be taking this thing on the road, filming some sick content for you guys and traveling all over the place. I'm going to have some big fan meetups this year too. And I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that. You know, I'll be popping through with the videos if we end up having some dates and locations where we're heading. I would love to come meet a bunch of you guys this year. I think that's something I really want to hit on is meeting a bunch of the supporters of the channel this year. Because you guys obviously, I mean, you guys mean so much to me. It's more than more than any of this other stuff. It's, I want to be able to meet the family, meet the supporters of the channel. Hey, can you be quiet on set? I'm trying to sleep inside here. I'm trying to sleep inside here and he's making all this ruckus. What's wrong, guys? Yo, I, get, I love this thing. He, he just whipped it around the cul-de-sac a little bit. It's not that bad. It's fun. I mean, when you got a boat on the back of it, you know, it adds another 25 foot. It's about 60 yeah, foot long with the boat. Down dragging a boat with it. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just you can't see the boat behind it. So, it, you know, you got to be cautious. I mean, you're as big as an 18 wheeler. So, you got to be careful. I'm ready to get to the lake, start a campfire, throw on the grill, some hot dogs, hamburgers, steak. And let it happen. That'd be good. And look at this. This is what Cody was picking up on. Alan, Bob, and Cody looked at this last night. So there's a TV on the outside of the RV, and the TV a kicking their bass TV is right on the TV. We got TV on the TV. But this whole thing's looking tight, guys. I wanted to show you guys this. I wasn't gonna make like a solid video just over this, but um, we're gonna be having a lot of content out of this thing. If you guys want to see some cool RV videos, let me know as well. We kind of want to go some like highway roadside pond fishing with the RV. You guys want to see that let me know down below i don't think anybody's done that yet so got to do some things different baby we're gonna go over here we got all the tackle organized and i think the last step of this process is just to get it all in the boat get it all packed together and then we're going to be heading back to savannah that's the whole trip big shout out to my parents for letting everybody come over we had a good week and uh the weather was nice too so that's a plus let's go ahead and uh pack everything up in the boat driving on the road like i'm the only one shooting to the green i talk a hole in one on the dash, stay with the holy wine. I know I put in work, they didn't notice nothing. Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years, marble floors, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich, tying left, French sway, I mix the fist, sick, quick claws, take a risk, we play for the win. Might spend a mill at the rug store, like man afford. But making purchases you can't afford. I move the money like it's illegal. Something more of Rick and where I move dead, people lay low. Took Oh man, so guys, we finished all the tackle organization let me tell you that was that was a lot so much tackle like fifteen thousand dollars worth big shout out to strike king for hooking me up with the baits very thankful for that and big shout out for to alan bob big steve cody and my mom for helping me out with this whole process we got it all knocked out today so now the last step is just to get all the baits inside the boat and then go fishing with them that's the final little step but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see how i organize this inside the boat check us out in one of the upcoming videos because i'm going to show you know the inside of the compartments and then go out and catch some really big bass i think this is going to help us on the water because we're going to have everything that we need it's all going to be organized and you know when i'm thinking about hey they might eat this and i might not have it with me this time we're having everything with us so we're going to be able to catch a lot more fish in my opinion but if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button. I appreciate the love and support. I'll catch you guys in the next one.